love y'all as Diamond Wilson in this. So I have a question really quick. Do you live in one of the 14 states that's offering additional child tax credit relief? At the federal level, lawmakers are looking to expand the child tax credit, which would increase the refundable amount about $200 per child. And by contrast, the child tax credit of 2021 shows that putting money directly into the pockets of families is far more effective. This year, the maximum tax credit per child is $2,000 per child as of December 31st, 2023. A portion of that is refundable this year, up to $1,600 per child. I wanna add during COVID that the expanding child tax credit had on record the lowest poverty for children. The policy helped cut child poverty in half in 2021, lifting 5.3 million people out of poverty. And that's including 2.9 million children. Monthly CTC payments help parents get back to work and pick up additional hours by helping to cover the cost. Childcare and other essential expenses. Families who receive the credit spent it on mostly rent, childcare, school expenses, groceries, and just catching up on any other bills. Monthly CTC payments help families in real time. I cannot stress that enough. It helps families from falling into debt in the first place. We can grow the economy, help women return to the workforce, and create just a more inclusive economy. Let's support our kids together. Click on the link and see who qualifies. I love you guys, and let's get into the video. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Wait, y'all, it's been so long, I forgot my intro. Hold on, wait, 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 let's start this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up, y'all? It's Donald Wilson in this. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot it, and I just did it in the beginning of this video, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna try not to cut this video up so much, but I do wanna let you guys know two things. As you can read from the title, I graduated from college, and I know what you're thinking. Did y'all, did you just exclude the YouTube family out? I did not, guys. I mean, kinda I did. That was just. Hold on. I just said I wasn't going to cut the video that much, but whatever. Anyways, I graduated from college on December 15, 2023 with my Bachelor in Science and Psychology, guys. I am college graduated. It all feels so fast, but then it felt so long at the same time. Long hours, going to different schools, taking double the classes of everybody else, just trying to make this happen, trying to make this work. Just, ugh, I'm so tired. So yes, guys, I graduated two months ago. Bless you, baby. Two months ago. I don't even know where to go with this video because it's just like, even in my mind, like, I still can't believe it. But um, I'm gonna show you guys like a get ready with me and stuff like that when I did graduate college two months ago. I'm, I'm probably gonna post that like the next video. Um, no one's seen that footage at all. Like it's like long, it's a long footage video, but I'm gonna like voice over what I was going through and stuff like that in my mind and racing on the damn graduation. So be on the lookout for that video, um, but hold on. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm doing right now. I am in my master's. I went directly, like literally like no break. I graduated in December, started my master's in January. It is now February, about to be March. Um, I am in my master's in clinical psychology. Clinical psychology. Um, honestly, that part, I've never talked about this. That part was so stressful because I thought like, okay, you just go from your bachelor's and then you just get, like go for your master's. I'm stuttering, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so you, I just thought that you go for your bachelor's then you go for your master's. It was hard getting into master's. I'm like, y'all got me running through these hoops. I'm thinking like, okay, sis just graduated. Like, it's gonna be easy to get my master's. No, they want all this stuff. A list, a long, giant, dark list. But I got accepted to the program and I was so happy. I was just like, yes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And honestly, if you've been following me for, I've been on social media since I was 17. This is a full circle moment. I have done a complete 180. I literally just can't believe where I am. Um, the reason I even started going to school was for my son. Um, I was just always interested in the brain. Um, somebody recommended me to watch Grey's Anatomy. I tell this story all the time. I just think it's funny how this just happened. Like literally, it was during COVID and I was asking for recommendations of things to watch. Some I've never seen. I'm like, what's a good show? Cause we all in the house. Like, let's just, we're all in the house. We might as well. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, you have to watch Grey's Anatomy. You have to binge watch it. You have to watch it. I started watching it. I said, that's what I want to do. And I was already so intrigued with the brain because my son, um, he's on the spectrum. And I knew I wanted to do something like that. And I was like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. I don't know what kind of doctor yet, but I want to be a doctor. And I'm going to be a doctor. And no one's going to stop me. And it was a lot of doubters. And there was a lot of people that was like, come on, you're, you're social media. You're an influencer. Like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah, I just said this whole spill and it deleted. <laughs> Long story short, 
Um, I feel like I'm coming out that life, and I really appreciate where I am. I appreciate you guys for watching me all these years. Since I was a freaking teenager, you guys have seen me go through puberty down here. <laughs> You see me go through laughter, heartbreak. You see me go through just different stages. Of life. You guys have seen it. And now I'm like taking a step back and I'm just like really in tune with myself, in tune with my son. Like life is just different. Um, I'm really active on Snapchat. If you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, my Snapchat is Dama Wilson. It's Bay. I post every single day on there. But other than that, I'm not really like as active as I was in the past on like Instagram. TikTok. I be doing my little thing on TikTok sometimes too. Um, but yeah. But yeah, guys, life is different. Um, so after I finished my clinical psychology, which I chose, in my personal opinion, one of the hardest ones to do, but it's very rewarding. I just cannot wait, cannot wait to be done with this. Long hours, long nights, but honestly, it's worth it. Like, I, like I'd rather be uncomfortable now. I always say it. I'd rather be uncomfortable now. I'd rather like work these hours and still have time for my son. I don't need to go out and party. I don't need to go out and do all that. There's nothing wrong with that. If you all party right now, drink one for me. Take a shot. Yeah, I want my light go off. That was crazy. Um, I mean, my computer screen is in the back. But anyways, hold on. So after I get done with my master's in clinical psychology, I will be going on to get my PhD and I will be Dr. Wilson. Yeah, come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Yeah. I am also in my second bachelor's. I know y'all like, what the, what are you doing? Are you not tired? When do you sleep? That's the question I get a lot. When do you sleep? I'm in my second bachelor's right now. Um, bachelor in science and computer science. <laughs> and honestly, every time I say that, people are like, whoa, what? Like a second bachelor's? And you're doing a master's at the same exact time. When do you sleep? Guys, I'm getting irritated. I just recorded three and a half minutes of footage and it deleted. So I'm gonna try to redo this. Okay, I'm not gonna be mad, I'm gonna be happy, let's go. All right, like I was saying, even though it's probably not gonna come off the same, I'm irritated, I hate when I, like, okay. <laughs> so what am I doing now? I announced on Instagram probably like a month ago that I am in my second bachelor's degree while simultaneously getting my master's in clinical psychology um, for computer science. I know you're thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, computer science major, guys. It's hard, it's hard as, it's hard, but honestly, clinical psychology is hard as well. It's like hard and hard, and now it's harder. Why did I do this? <laughs> Don't know. No, I'm, honestly, I think I'm just following in the path of my grandma, honestly. She literally has so many degrees. She has like eight. My grandma's also a doctor, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna give her her full name, but yeah, she's doctor. <laughs> and that's the route I'm going on, um, because after I finish my master's in clinical psychology, I'm gonna go on to get my PhD to become Dr. Wilson. Dr. Wills, I feel like I recorded this part already, but like, I don't know if it was actually in the video. So if I'm repeating, excuse me, but if I am repeating, it's okay. Cause the girl can be Dr. Wilson. But hard work takes time. So it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna get there, you know? But yeah, let's go back. So I have my bachelor's in psychology and I feel like I have to get a uh, graduate degree because honestly, for what I wanna do, you can't just get a bachelor's degree in psychology. You gotta go get your graduate degree. I was gonna get that anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, so I'm in clinical psychology and I'm going to get my PhD right after that. <laughs> okay. And then now, simultaneously, I am also in computer science. I'm not going to get a graduate degree in computer science. I'm just going to rock that degree, tech degree, honestly. Like, honestly, I have an option of becoming like a clinical psychologist or I can be an engineer, whatever I choose. I like that I have options. Yeah. And then, I know y'all thinking, girl, when do you sleep? That's the question people ask me the most. When do you sleep? Um, I haven't even announced this on nothing, actually. I'm gonna say on that, nothing. Um, I'm interested in business law. So I think I'm gonna get a master's as well. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Three, you doing three degrees at the same time? Yes, I am, yes. I started filling out the application yesterday. It's not completely filled out, so I'm not even sure if I am gonna do the business law, but I, let's throw it in the universe and let's flip, a, let's flip a coin. I was so happy when I got into the um, clinical psychology program. I thought it was just gonna be easy. I got my degree in bachelor's in psychology. I thought it was gonna be easy to switch over. I feel like I said this, but I'm not sure. Um, and it was hard to get in, but I got in and your girl was happy about it. So I just cannot stress that enough. I was so relieved and happy. I don't know why, because I had a great, 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 great part. I have like a 3.8 or something like that. And here's to anybody, I want to get this message, anybody who thought they couldn't do something. People have been telling you whole life, like, you're dumb, like, you're stupid, like, I put your mind to it, you can do anything. And I know that sounds cliche, but put your mind to it, I'm telling you. Your girl got ADHD. I even doubted myself a little bit. I was like, girl, you sure? <laughs> Mom, look at me thriving. But let me show you guys my 
degree. I remember when it came in. I feel like I'm repeating and I really hate that. So if I'm repeating, I'm sorry. A lot of footage got deleted and I don't know what got deleted because ADHD. Listen, I have selective memory. I'm not sure. I can remember all my school stuff, but when it comes to everyday life, I'm like, crickets, crickets, crickets. All right, guys, here is my degree. I got it framed to everything, my tassel. Y'all, I was eating the girls up on graduation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looks so beautiful. Everybody looks so accomplished. I was like, yes. Look at you guys. Dominique Wilson, Bachelor of Science and Psychology. Yay. Honestly, everything that I'm doing is for my son. My son deserves a great life. He deserves anything, everything great that comes out of life. He is literally the best thing in this whole entire world. But guys, that's all I have to say. I graduated from college. You guys will see my get ready with me. Probably be my next video. I don't know if I said this, but I feel like I did. But my next video will be my get ready with me at graduation. I don't, I feel like I'm repeating. Okay, guys, I'm about to go. I love you guys. Happy New Year, because it's my first time on YouTube in 2024. And I hope all of your dreams come true. I love you.